We've already looked at how to create a fillable form. In part two, we'll discuss having this information go into a database. First of all, notice the database here. Each form item has a name. We could change the name, and that'll be the name in the database. The customer won't see this part. You can just double tap. and you could change the name that way just by typing over it. Let's click on distribute and notice it says the changes must be saved before I can distribute. I'm just going to call this distribute. And now it's asking me how I want to distribute the form. I could distribute through email or through an internal server. I'm going to choose email and click continue. And now this first set of information will be myself. I'll fill it in and tap next and I'll select send using Adobe and next and now I'll enter email addresses and notice that it created a default subject and a default message for me I could edit that but I'm going to leave it for now and I'll select the checkbox here collect name and email from recipients and I'll click send Notice it's preparing form for distribution. And it's asking me how I want to send it. I'm going to choose Outlook. And it's sending the form. And then the tracker comes up. And notice the information we have here. It can tell that I sent it out to two people. And two people have not yet responded. Then at the bottom here it has a list of the two people I sent it to and the status. So I'm going to go into my email and open the form. And notice at the top here, this is what your user will see, the person you sent the form to. So the person will fill out the information and then hit submit. Then the person will see this dialog box and it shows where the person is submitting it to. They're submitting it to me. And the user will also be asked which email application to use. I'll tap continue. And the user gets information saying that it has been sent. I'll go into the other email and do the same thing. And I'll submit form once again. And in my email, we see the two submitted forms. And double clicking on this will add it to my response file. Let's double click. And when I double click, the form opens with the filled out information. And I get asked if I want to send this to a response file, and I will. And it defaulted to the file that was already created. I could create a new file if I wanted to. I'm going to click OK. And it looks like I get some welcome information here. I'll just click Get Started. And then here's my list of responses. And I still have one more that hasn't responded, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Responses have been sent to my file called Distribute Responses. I'll double click to open the file. And I'll just click get started to get past the welcome screen. And here are my two responses. You can see who they were from, when they came in, and other information. Now I can export this. I can export some of it or all of it. And note that it exports to a CSV file, comma delimited. And I'll leave the name the same and I'll just click save. And note it says that they were exported. And here is the file. And CSV files are basically text file lists, and they can be imported into Excel, Access, and other list or database programs. Let's double click this because normally these are used with Excel. It will probably open with Excel. But you could also open this with a text file if you so chose. And here is the Excel file. And notice the database titles for each fillable portion of the form. And I only filled out the first one or two parts of the form. And notice these here, that means it's just not enough room. I'll just double click here to stretch this out. So it has where it was from, the receive date, and then what I entered for the name field, and what I entered for the first name field, what I entered in the telephone field. And I didn't enter anything into these other fields, but we would have a list of everything that was entered. And if we had 40 or 50 of these, they would all be listed here.
So this is a way to have a filled out form from your respondents, but at the same time have all that information go into a database when it's filled out. So that way you don't have to do any data entry once all your forms come in.